Okay, this is a simple demo how to connect uh, using the Industrial Shield uh, PLC. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. So, what we're gonna do today is just uh, how to connect the uh, temperature. Yes, I have my temperature sensor right here. This little LM35. Let me get a little bit of focus here. Let's see if I can. And I went 35. And what we have is here is just connected to the laptop via USB. So you have in front a connection. And uh, I'm powering the uh, with these two pair of cables, you know, ground and voltage to, to the breadboard and um, it's just uh, adding on the one side uh, voltage the other side it's ground this black one and data it's just coming through this orange and white cable which is connected to the uh, LM235 LM to the port I08, I08, which is port uh, A1 for uh, the Arduino, Leonardo. So uh, because uh, the uh, uh, out of the box, it needs to be power. So I have a power supply here, additional power supply connected to right here, right. And uh, this basically, this is it. So we have the connection here. Now let's see on the software side. Um, okay, it's fairly simple. So what what I have here is a, uh, let's see if I can focus this. And, uh, So, okay, that's better. So what we have is, uh, I just named the variable a IO8, and it's gonna be reading A1 on the configuration. And on the setup, I just have start at the beginning. I have no library whatsoever, absolutely no library. And uh, on the void loop, I'm just gonna re yeah, create an integer call analog value and a float clock temperature right there okay right there so and next what I'm going to do is just uh, read analog value analog value read the IO8 which is port A1 for the Arduino and then uh, I'm going to um, divide this temperature uh, and assign it to temperature variable to the analog value divided by uh, 1023 uh, bits right and because I'm using uh, uh, 10 volts because the this little guy here its outputs are 10 volts so I need to divide this by a thousand okay and then print the values and here as we see here uh, just running and reading the temperature yeah 20 degrees 19 degrees so on and so forth if I'm gonna put my finger on this on the on the temperature sensor right right here so we should see this start increasing 22, 22, 48. And uh, continue reading. Yeah. The 22, 48 again. Let me just grab it harder. 23. And it goes up. If I release again. Okay, and release again. 
Okay, now we see this is going to we go. This is all reading 24, 24. So it's going down again to 22 degrees and then slowly going down to uh, the uh, 19 degrees, which is at uh, no, room temperature right now. All right, so this is it. It's very easy to, to understand and use. No library required in this case. Uh, next, uh, I'm gonna do the same using the the I2C communication so I can plug more than one temperature sensor. Actually, I'm gonna put two um, temperature, waterproof temperature from uh, uh, Dallas temperatures and uh, we need to manage the addresses on each uh, microchip and then um, um, read the, those values and put it in the screen. Okay, so that's all for now. See you next time.